Hello, this is Jane Goodall. About a year ago, I addressed Minister Waits about the dolphins in Bruges. And now I would like to repeat my plea to you, members of the Animal Welfare Committee of the Flemish Parliament. Dolphins are magnificent mammals of the oceans. They're incredibly smart, live in complex social communities, have personalities, minds, and rich emotional lives. They develop strong social bonds, use tools, collaborate during hunting, and they're playful acrobats. Decades ago, people started capturing dolphins in the wild for captive display. Bonds between mothers and calves and other members of their pods were broken. Dolphins were brought to concrete tanks where they were made to perform tricks. Over the years, we've seen time and again tragedies occurring in these captive individuals. We know that many died way too early, that calves died too soon after birth, that aggression within the group and towards trainers occurred through tail slaps and jaw clapping. Dolphins may become depressed and listless. Some dolphins even crashed themselves into windows or banged their heads against concrete borders or wore down their teeth, biting in order to try and get some freedom. A captive tank such as that in Bruges can never meet the behavioral needs of these wonderful mammals. The environment is much too restricted, much too small, much too monotonous. Your country had the courage to adopt important welfare laws and forbid the keeping of wild animals in circuses. Well, forcing a dolphin to perform tricks for a dead fish is no different from forcing a land mammal to perform tricks in a circus. I'm fortunate to have seen attitudes to animals change throughout my life. The chimpanzees of Gombe, which I started studying in 1960, helped change our views on animals, helped us to understand that animals are not mere things, but beings with personalities, minds, emotions. Nowadays, we know so much more about so many animal species, including dolphins, than we did 30 years ago when I began my chimpanzee study. And so it's become clear that we should terminate the keeping of dolphins in tanks. In fact, we should have done so many years ago. I've brought together a committee of dolphin experts, chaired by the Belgian ethicist, Dr. Kuhn Margot. We believe that we should phase out captive tanks and bring dolphins, orcas, belugas, and other cetaceans to marine sanctuaries places where these magnificent mammals can live in semi-captivity, places that allow more natural, richer and varied lives in more spacious environments. They should not be kept in captivity for our profit and entertainment. The Jane Goodall Institute is successfully running sanctuaries for other tremendously complex mammals, namely chimpanzees, who've been rescued from entertainment and other inappropriate captive situations. It's been absolutely wonderful to watch them gradually gaining confidence, forming friendships and enjoying their new freedom. The same future should be given to dolphins. Efforts to create marine sanctuaries are underway in many countries and I beg you to do the right thing, the ethical thing, and agree that Puck, Roxanne, Flo, Yotta, Indy, and Ocean should have a better future. We need to do what's in the very best interests of these individuals. We owe them nothing less. Thank you.